The most basic of pagan practices is the control of human population to have a perfect balance between man and nature. The goal is to bring the population down to 500 million, which is over a 90% reduction in humanity. Now that we have abandoned everything we've been trained to think prior to this moment, we can start looking at the world for what it is, instead of what people tell us it is. Open your eyes today as if you've never seen the world before, and you will begin to notice that the goal of population reduction is everywhere around us. Let me assure you that absolutely nothing that I'm going to tell you is exaggerated, is interpolated or is imagined. Everything I'm going to tell you is documented. He who controls food controls the world. Well, they said in 1962, we're going to work toward total global implementation of Codex Alimentarius on December 31st, 2009. They were sort of guidelines. Now, Codex Alimentarius Commission is administered by the World Health Organization, WHO, and the FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization. They fund Codex and they run it at the request of the UN. So they're mommy and daddy to Codex Alimentarius. In 1994, Codex, with no notice here in this country whatsoever, declared nutrients put on your intellectual seatbelts, declared nutrients to be toxins. They're poisons. Under Codex, every dairy cow on the planet must be treated with Monsanto's recombinant bovine growth hormone. Furthermore, under Codex, every animal used for food on the planet must be treated with subclinical antibiotics and must be treated with exogenous growth hormones. If you do the numbers in the WHO FAO projections, the epidemiological projections, they estimate, not I, that just the vitamin and mineral guideline alone when it goes into global implementation on December 31st, 2009, will result in a minimum of three billion, that's B, bad, big, billion deaths. One billion through simple starvation. Those folks who die are not particularly economically successful from the point of view of the corporations. But the next two billion, they will die from the preventable diseases of undernutrition. Who will live? Probably those people who are wealthy enough and powerful enough to have their own pushers of clean food and nutrients. So we need your help.